Alright, so today we're gonna do this very simple animation in Procreate step by step. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is insert my picture, which is the logo of Nike. I got it from Google as a PNG. I'm just gonna resize it and place it where I want it to be, then go to select automatic and just select the word to get rid of the background copy paste it and now you have it on a separate layer without the background i'm just gonna resize it and now i'm gonna insert another layer on top of that lower the opacity of my original picture and just trace the logo using a technical pen the color is black and just trace the outlines the reason why i'm doing that is because the first part of my animation is just animating the appearance of the outlines without the filling so there's that and I really want to separate that tick from the word now that I'm done with that I'm gonna duplicate my layer and just fill in the word with the same color I'm gonna insert another layer and do the same exact thing but for the tick again duplicate your layer and fill it with the black color and now you have a full logo with your outline so you can just delete the original picture we don't need it anymore now i have the full logo on four separate layers i'm gonna rearrange them and just turn them all off except the outlines of nike i'm gonna go to actions and from canvas turn on animation assist the idea of this animation is very simple to do it you have to know where each letter starts and where it should end and you will figure that out in a minute but first we're gonna go to settings and lower the onion skin frames to 3 and increase the frames per second to 25 of course that's up to you the speed uh, it's up to you but what I want here is 25 now duplicate your layer and go back a layer so go to the first layer and start by erasing parts of the letter use a hard brush maybe and start by erasing small parts of each letter what you should think about it is like this you have the logo as the last layer you want you want it to be as the result so don't touch that you have to keep it safe so we're duplicating it and going back a layer so we can work with the earlier layers right so the parts you are erasing right now or at the beginning will be animated at the very end until we reach that full logo and you're gonna end up erasing dots so you're gonna keep erasing these letters until they turn into just dots and these dots will be the beginning of the animation i really hope that made sense <laughs> it's very simple to understand and very simple to do just duplicate go back a layer and erase And don't feel the need that you have to erase each letter at the same speed or at the same time because here for example the i is very small compared to the n so that's fine of course the i will just be delayed which makes sense right but all the letters will show up at the end at the same time in time for the logo to be complete because when we started erasing the very first layer we did we erased an equal part from each letter so all of them will end at the same time and as you can see dots are left so now when we played the i started delayed but they all ended at the same time i like that but i feel like it's a bit slow so i'm gonna go to settings and increase the frames per second to 27 and i'm gonna stick with that again the speed is up to you now i'm gonna start to fill in the word night i'm gonna turn it on and duplicate my last layer and group it with the finished word because i want it as a last product now again duplicate go back a layer and do the exact same thing we're gonna erase it again uh, start erasing where you want the letter to end uh, very small changes at the beginning and you can make them bigger as you go along and smaller changes at the end the reason why i group the outlines with the filled word i forgot to mention that earlier but if you want multiple layers to show up in the same frame and i have explained this in earlier videos you have to group them so one group is one 
frame. So no matter how many layers you have in that group, they will all appear in one frame, which is very helpful when you have so many layers and so many details or so many things animating at the same time, you have to group them. And again, remember, they don't have to all end together as long as they start at the same time. And when I play it, I like the results. If you look close enough, I like the N and the E, how they work. It's good enough for me. Now I'm going to start working on the tick. Again, I'm going to duplicate the last layer and turn on the tick layer and group it with the last layer as the finished product. This is the finished product now we're gonna do the exact same thing duplicate go back a layer choose the tick layer and start erasing again of course you erase with what you want to appear at the end because again we are working backwards small changes at the uh, at the beginning and at the end and make them bigger in the middle And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please don't forget to like, that always helps. And if you have any questions for me, leave me a comment and I will definitely reply to you. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.